Alrighty Hosses, welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to set up and connect to a server somewhere else in the world. So if you ever want to host a website and you want to buy a server online and connect to it then you need to follow along because this is how you do it. And I'm going to show you guys a technique called SSH and how to set up SSH keys and these are a lot better and a lot safer than using just a regular plain text password because passwords if you use that to log into your server they can be cracked I mean someone can guess them and hack into your server but with SSH and I'll show you guys exactly how to set it up it's pretty much impossible to crack so a nice safe connection first thing we need however is a computer somewhere else in the world now there are a bunch of different websites my favorite is DigitalOcean they're super cheap and I hate sounding like I'm a salesman or something but I posted an affiliate link below and I never post affiliate links because I just think they're like kinda cheesy I never posted one before but um, I noticed that with DigitalOcean whenever you uh, post it then you guys if you decide to sign up you would get 10 bucks off so if you want click on the link below this video and you'll get 10 bucks off if you want to play around if you know of another uh, cheaper site then leave the comments below too boom roasted but sign up for this and once you create your account you're gonna be logged into this page so this is like your main account page I already have um, a server set up in DigitalOcean they just call their servers droplets so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a droplet right now and this means just create a server so they're gonna create a server and we need to give it a couple settings the first one is what do you want it to be named now this isn't the name of your website so for example if I was setting this up to host my website thenewboston.com I don't need to type thenewboston.com in here I can type whatever I want it's just so you can identify it if you have multiple droplets or servers set up so I'm just gonna name it like uh, the milk road because why not I think it sounds pretty cool and now you can select your size of it I'm just gonna set up a cheapo five dollar one right now if you're actually hosting a website then you would probably want to go with either 20 or 40 because on an actual server you're gonna be running 64-bit uh, processes and they take up a little bit more memory so for this example you know I don't want to splooge so I'm just gonna test it out and now it's saying where do you want us to set up your server so they have a bunch of different locations all around the world I am just gonna use New York because I live in New York and it'll give me the fastest connection now since we can't actually fly over and start installing our own software I mean that's kind of the point whenever we scroll down here we're gonna see select image this just means what software do you want us to install on your server by default so a lot of the time when I do it manually I like to just install plain old Ubuntu with nothing else and I install Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP myself however like I said this tutorial we're just learning the basics so I'm gonna click applications and click lamp on 14.04 this means whenever they set up my server it's already gonna come with Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP already installed on Ubuntu 14.04 and uh, you know it's kinda of the lazy way of doing it but <laughs> whatever alright so scroll down here and since we didn't even learn about SSH keys yet we won't add any of those and hit create droplet now the cool thing about this is they usually only take like 60 seconds to create so it's gonna create my entire web server install all that crap on it in like a minute I don't know how they do that actually but it's freaking awesome alright so in about 60 seconds I just got this email literally right now zero minutes ago <laughs> All right, so uh, this is the default login credentials that I need to connect to that server. So this is the IP address. We only have one user on it right now. They set up root by default, and this is their password. And of course, whenever we log in, we probably want to change that. So go ahead and copy this IP address first. Let's figure out how to connect to it. So right now, like I said, I'm just on my own computer, sitting at home, just had a bowl of ice cream, and my server's over in New York City or, you know, wherever they're set up in New York. So I'm going to write SSH, and after this you type the name or the username you want to connect to. So I want to log in as root, it's the only user we have right now, and then write an at sign. 
So then if you hold down shift and paste, you can paste in your IP address. Did I have one in it? Did I copy the whole thing? Yep, that is it. All right. So I want to connect to this computer as the user root. Now I'm going to hit enter. And the very first time you connect, it's going to say, um, you never connected to this computer before. Do you trust it? Yes, I trust that it's authentic. And of course, it's going to ask you for root's password to make sure that you are authorized to log in. So copy that, paste it using shift insert and hit enter. So it's going to log in. Now the way that DigitalOcean and most companies set it up is whenever you log in to root for the very first time, they make you change your password. And that's just so if anyone ever hacks into your email, they can't see the default password in plain text and you have a new one. Security feature. So it first asks for the current password. So paste the current password in again that they gave you. And then we can choose our new password. So just write whatever you want. Write it twice and boom, you're good to go. So now we are connected and check this out. So if I just write like um, ls or write pwd, um, you know, let me do this cd dot dot ls. Look at this. So all of these files, they're not on my own computer. This is actually the server in New York City that we're connected to. And if we ever close out and log back in again, then we can log in using our new password. Pretty sweet. So that's the basics of how to set up a server and connect to it somewhere else in the world. And in the next video, since I'm getting kind of long on time, I'll show you guys how to set up SSH and teach you guys everything you need to know about it. It's going to be sweet. See you guys then.